Hey everybody, I'm here today to show you and tell you how to drill a pilot hole for a screw. This will be a very easy tutorial, so let's get right into the video. When you are fastening a screw to any surface like wood or anything else, it is a very good idea to drill a pilot hole first. That is because if you don't have a pilot hole, the screw will basically be eating into the material. Whereas if you have a pilot hole, you're going to guide the screw to make sure that it goes straight straight into the material in the way that you want it to and it's less likely to eat or tear away at the actual material and less likely to crack if you're using thinner wood. This is a pretty thick piece of wood as you can see right here that I've secured to some other pieces of material for the purposes of a few videos. However, if you're using a thin piece of wood, it will make it less likely to tear through and crack the piece of wood. So what you want to do is get a drill bit just like this and you want to make sure your drill bit is significantly thinner than the body of the screw. So you can see the drill bit is much thinner than the body of the screw. It's very easy to do. You want to pick your spot that you want to drill your pilot hole which will end up being the spot that the screw is secured into or fastened into and you want to drill down a little bit. You don't need to go the entire length of the screw but just a little bit. So I'm going to drill down just like that. I'll pull it out and I'll go a little bit further down. Just like that, okay? So what I've done is I've drilled down over here. That is my pilot hole. You can see it's a very, very small hole. That's all that you'll need. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to quickly swap the battery um, into my other drill. So just bear with me for a moment because my other drill, which is my impact driver, is what I will use to um, fasten the screw down. So I have the impact driver right here and it's what I will use to fasten the screw down. I'm gonna place the screw inside of the pilot hole. Really convenient because you actually get a little bit of guidance for it. So I'm gonna make sure it's nice and straight. I'm gonna put my impact driver on forward gear. I'm gonna line it up nice and straight and then I'm just gonna drive the screw down. Just like that. And as you can see right there, it allowed me to fasten the screw into the material. It didn't tear anything. It looks amazing. It responded really well and it made sure the screw was nice and straight. And the screw is going to be more secure in there, in my opinion, um, because it is nice and snug in there. Whereas if you don't have a pilot hole, although there's more material in there, the screw is tearing up that material and it might be damaging the material around it within the piece of wood. So by having a pilot hole, you're less likely to crack the material and you're more likely to have a nice and secure screw that is fastened in place. And that's it. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.